What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today, we're going to be making a nice, refreshing cocktail, which is a play on a Pimm's Cup uh, called a Cool Aunt Pim. It was created by Annie Williams Pierce of the, of the bar Lawbird in Columbus, Ohio. And what I found when I became aware of this, okay, anytime I become aware of a cocktail, I look up the bartender and I look up their bar and I kind of try and figure out as much information as I can on it so that I can give it to you guys. Because really, at the end of the day, what I'm trying to do is just... Uh, I just trying to cultivate as many recipes as possible and kind of put them all in one place for you guys, including my own originals and then originals of my friends. But then just like as many of the bar, uh, as many of the recipes out there as I can. Uh, and when I became aware of this bar, Lawbird, I saw that they were doing an Indiegogo campaign. So I wanted to link the Indiegogo campaign. And then I realized to my dismay that the Indiegogo campaign was over and they had fallen a little bit short of their goal. But it was a flexible, it was flexible funding, which means that they got the money and hopefully they're going to be opening up soon. I don't think that Lawbird is opened up yet, but it is opening up soon. Uh, so you, those of you in Columbus, Ohio, maybe you guys can reach out, uh, lend a helping hand. I don't know. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, this is a wonderful cocktail. Uh, it is a sherry-based cocktail with a little bit of tequila, and I think you guys are really going to like it. It's also a, a Pimm's Cup, and I think that, you know, right now in this, I mean, it is broiling hot in LA. It is... I actually suffer a little under these lights. I know, cry me a river, but I, I actually do kind of... It is hot today. And it is hot in general. And I think that having just a very nice kind of, uh, you know, Pimm's cups are like coolers. You know, you're just something that you want to sip on a hot day. Just something that's really refreshing and really light. This one is kind of, you know, it's a based in wine. It has a little tequila to kind of knock it up a little bit. It's a little bit tart. It's got some cucumber tonic water. It's, it's pretty good. All right. So let's get into making the drink. And then we can talk about more stuff. First thing we're going to do is do quarter ounce of lemon juice. Then we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of tequila. Today we're using Angelisco tequila, which I recently become aware of and have also become a big fan of. As I can see, I was just about to do this and then I like look into this jigger and there is, it's not very clean. So I'm going to clean this for one sec. Give me a sec, guys. Sorry. There. Nice. It would have been really weird if I, because uh, there was a little coconut cream left in this jigger. Not on the bottom of it, luckily. All right, three quarters of an ounce of tequila. Then we're just gonna do one ounce of Amontillado Sherry. And then, to add the sugar content, but a light amount of sugar, we're just gonna take some raspberry preserves here, and we're gonna do one heaping bar spoon of raspberry preserves. I'm going to set that aside. You are definitely going to want to double strain this because uh, Raspberry Preserves has um, seeds. And then we're going to just do like a little pinch of sea salt. I'm using Malden sea salt for this one. We're going to add our ice to our tin. And I'm going to pre-add some ice to our glass. I thought this might be kind of a nice shaped glass. There we go and shake our cocktail. Here we go. And then we're going to give it a nice double strain. Ah. Give it a nice double strain to get rid of any of those seeds. And then we're just going to top it up with approximately an ounce and a half of the uh, cucumber tonic water from Fever Tree. This is the tonic water that she called, maybe a little dash more. And then we're just going to garnish with some mint. This mint has been on the set for a lot of the day today, and uh, we've been kind of fighting to keep it sprightly because mint likes to get wilty if you don't. Do it well, so we just put it in some ice water to make sure you get like a nice sprightly sort of. Maybe a little bit more. A 
I'm gonna do like a nice big bouquet though, Marius. I'm just gonna stick that in there like, like so. And then we're gonna, nice little lemon peel. Stick that in there like so. And then we're gonna take a sip. Oh, that is, it's nice. It's um, light and refreshing. It's a little on the bitter side. It's like, got that you get that raspberry. The cucumber tonic gives it like a nice cucumbery, light and fresh, but still got that quinine sort of bite to it. Oh yes, it's like drinking rosé. And that is kind of what we want to do. Oh my. I want to kind of redo my garnish here. Sorry guys, I wanted to redo my garnish. Okay, here, lemon twist. Now this is a little bit tough of a vessel for a mint sprig garnish, but I like the vessel and I and this is the garnish. And also if you don't have mint, you can just do like, uh, you can do cilantro, you could do a mix of herbs, uh, just like nice fresh herbs. You want to make sure that when you sip it, you don't sip it from a, if you sip it from a straw, sip it from a very low straw so that your nose, I wanted to get my nose all up in that mint because, you know, honestly, um, smelling is about 80% of your taste. So you want to make sure that you stick your nose in there and get that, you know, whiff of herbs or mint and lemon as you taste the cocktail, that's really going to inform it. But it's got this nice sort of raspberry. It's but it's not. It's like lemon juice and raspberry, but it's not very sweet. The ra the only sugar content comes from the raspberry preserves. Um, it's a little bit like the the uh, Sasha Petrosky uh, cocktail of cosmonaut, you know, in that it just it takes sugar from ra raspberry preserves, but then it has um, you know like the like the the cucumber tonic water is just playing really well with the amontillado sherry. Um, it's just a really, really nice, refreshing cocktail for the summer. Uh, Barius was giving me a signal behind the camera, uh, sort of like, that's what he was doing. I don't know what he's saying. I, I rarely understand anything that Marius says to me, actually. Um, everything he says is so gosh darn logical that I'm just like, what are you saying, Marius? Why? So I don't know. It's some hand signal. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe he's indicating two minutes for some odd reason. Maybe he thinks that I can just talk to you guys about nothing for two minutes. So this video can be 10 minutes long and then we can put another ad break into it. I don't, I'm not really sure what he's doing. He's always thinking of these like kind of producery things. I just want to give you guys good drinks. All I really care about is giving you guys good drinks. Let me give you guys good drinks. Anyway, I, uh, I guess that's it, guys. So here is the cool Aunt Pim. Uh, Annie Williams Pierce. Brilliant cocktail from Lawbird in Columbus, Ohio. Definitely drink it. Make sure that you're sipping it on a porch in this hot, hot summer. Uh, and even if not, you can have it with dinner in your cold winter if you're in uh, Australia or below the equator somewhere. I keep on saying Australia because that's where our friend Steve the bartender um, lives. And one day we want to go and do some episodes with Steve the bartender. We've been emailing back and forth. We're trying to get some something in the works. It's probably going to happen. Um, yeah, it's no, it's not probably going to happen. It's definitely going to happen. All right, guys, if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Click the uh, bell icon if you want uh, to get some notifications every single time we release a video, which I think you would because our videos are amazing. Um, and then check out our Patreon. We've got some great content on Patreon, patreon.com backslash. No, I said it again, even though I was on a, uh, it's not a backslash, dude. It's patreon.com slash the educated barfly. Uh, we've got some good, just wonderful uh, content that we're just doing exclusively for Patreon members. Uh, Patreon supporters are really, really important to us. It goes a long way to helping us make the videos that you see. Um, because, you know, we have a little bit of sponsorship, but we don't have a ton and we really, uh, you know, making the shows, you know, we just, we, we could use the help and we really appreciate those of you that take the time to help us. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Marius is giving me a sideways look like, come on, man, just stop talking. All right. See you guys another time.